Hello good people, this is Sherry with Sharika Originals. Today I'm going to cut some of uh, some of this fabric that I put together on my die cutter just to show you how easy it is. In a video, uh, in my previous video, I showed you how I put, lay these strips down and attach them to this watercolor paper. It's pretty heavy, it's, I think it's 140 pound watercolor paper, so it's pretty sturdy. And then I attached another uh, piece of paper behind that to add to the stability of it. So check out how this goes. The name of my die cut machine is a big kick. I've had it for several years now. Um, she's She's very well worn, but I keep her around because um, there, you know, sometimes I don't want to use my or can't use my Glowforge. I normally always cut my my leather either by hand or I cut it uh, using one of one of my dies. I have uh, several earring dies that I use, and this one is a three size um, uh, kind of leaf looking. Um, die that I like to use. Now that I have my pieces cut, I'm going to uh, put a little bit of uh, UV resin on them to, to just give them a little, little more shine. The pair of earrings that you see to the left, um, those were cut on my Glowforge a few days ago. I just had never gotten around to finishing them. What I'm doing here is uh, going over with a lighter to uh, uh, blow out any bubbles that might form. I'm going to attach these earrings to, to these uh, pre-made stud backs that I really like.
here they are. And you know the drill. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. And I so appreciate all the comments that you guys leave. And don't forget the Tuesday Live subscriber giveaway. I do that to show my appreciation for all the support that I get. I am just so amazed and I am so grateful. This is the last pair of earrings that I made. All right, good people. This is Sherry saying, as always, be blessed.